Thank you. Hey, Weston. Just Hello. what was it like having to manage your emotions in a game with, with so many twists and turns, with so many changes in momentum? I mean, how did you guys, how were you guys able to kind of keep your collective heads? Uh, it's like I said in, in previous interviews, um, you know, the game against Honduras prepared us very well. And, um, you know, we, we had to handle our emotions also in that game. And, and some of us, you know, for the first time experiencing a game like that and, you know, having a, a game against Mexico, you know, there's already emotions there. There's already, uh, you know, uh, uh, intensity of rivalry. And to be able to, to, you know, handle it the way the guys did uh, today to pull out a win was, was very important. Charles Bohm, go ahead. Hi, Wes, and congrats. Um, Thank I, you. We pr probably expected you to play the hero, or at least you were, you were uh, you know, a leading contender to do that. And so wanted to, to see what it was like for you kind of experiencing this moment in the, in the trajectory of your career. And then also the one we didn't expect to be a hero was Ethan. I uh, wonder what, if you could speak a few words about him and, and his journey to get to this point. No, I mean, you know, as, as a goalkeeper, it's, it's hard to get minutes uh, as it is. And there's not that many rotations. There's not that many, you know, you don't sub really ever in a game unless it's a situation like today. And, you know, we, for us, you know, we, we gave him the game ball because, you know, for a keeper to come in a game like that, um, you know, it's already high rolling, going 100 miles per hour. Uh to come in a game and, and make the big save uh, and, and, you know, kind of secure the win, as you could say, uh, was big time, big, big time. And, you know, it plays with your head a little bit when it takes long for the for the ref to decide whether it's a PK or not. And he didn't lose his head and, and he went with his gut and his instinct and his training and he stepped up to the role and, and uh, you know, executed the way that uh, that – we hope he would and, and that he uh, expects from himself. And then last question, Mauricio Munoz, go ahead. Hi, Weston. Uh, it's Mauricio Munoz from Agencia Jose Ramon Fernandez in Mexico. Uh, first of all, congratulations. What is your, what's your opinion about Ethan for making a great save in a very important moment in the match? And how do you feel about this rivalry against Mexico? And what can you say about the team's performance? Could you repeat the first one about Ethan? What did you say? Uh, how do you feel about uh, Ethan for making a great save in a very important moment in the match? Well, it's kind of the same question, but um, no, I mean, I feel great. I feel, uh, I think he probably feels better than, than I do, but, you know, we're all excited for him. And, and it's like I said before, like him coming into a game like that and, and, and being able to play the hero for it, it's, it's amazing and, and it's well-deserved. And, uh, you know, he doesn't put his head down. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't you know, shy away from, from the, the task at hand. And, and he, he got it done. What was the other question again? Second part? Just, just about the rivalry in general. Oh, no. I mean, as you guys can see, it's, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of crowds, a lot of pushing, a lot of, I don't know what it is, but they seem to like to grab my neck. Um, so it's a, it's a rivalry that's been there for generations and it's a rivalry that will still carry on. And, and we just got the upper hand this time and, and hopefully it stays that way.